Right. Good blessed morning. I mean, I fell out yesterday. I, I, I fell asleep yesterday. It was, you know, God had God put me to sleep early last night. Um, that and I was just I was just so spiritually drained yesterday. Um, man, it's it's a when I'm tired, when I'm tired, I can keep going. Uh, but when my spirit's just drained, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't do. I can't do nothing. Um, when I feel spiritually drained, but still got in the word yesterday. I apologize. I, I didn't come and bring the word yesterday. Like I said, I was going to, so, um, it's going to be two pieces today. Cause I just got another, did another reading this morning. Um, so for yesterday, uh, is we're going to be in Proverbs five, um, pretty short chapter, but I did get some highlights out of here. Um, so starting at verse two, it says that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold of hell. Then again, at verse 21 to 23, it reads, for the ways of man are before the eyes of Lord, and he pondereth all in his doing and all in his goings. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sin. So God's going to hold you accordingly with your sin. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. In, the, in, in his greatest hour, he shall go astray in the greatness of his folly, of his foolish, of his foolishness, he shall go astray. And those are words of wisdom right there. Like for guys and girls, I believe that uh, verse three through six, three through six applies to everybody, you know, applies to both men and women. I, I don't. When I read this stuff, I don't keep it gender specific, gender specific despite what um, what my wife has done. Um, I've met guys that do the same thing. So I'll read it again. Um, For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as, two, as a two-edged sword. Verse five, her feet go down to death, the path of destruction. Her steps take hold of hell. I'm going to read verse six too. Least thou should have ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable that thou canst not know them. Pretty much uh, these people are very predictable in, in what they do. So, you know, um, it's not it's not like you can't. You know, it's not like you don't see it coming, like when these people wander off. But uh, that's the quick video that I forgot to do yesterday. Um, you know, forgive me for that. But I'll be back a little bit later um, to do Proverbs chapter six, man. This was a Proverbs for me. <laughs> this is the chapter for me this morning, man. And God knows that. He knows that, man. He 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 knows my heart because he. This is the this is a chapter for me. But I'll, I'll be back with that one a little bit later. Thank you guys so much for pay, for um, tuning into the video. I um, pray the blood of Jesus over uh, myself, Elaine Gross, my children, Kevin, Aaliyah, and Michael, and all the viewers of this video. I pray that it, that it covers us, it protects us from the spiritual wickedness, evil principalities in the world unseen, and I pray that it gives us a hedge of protection. From the uh, from the spiritual wickedness that uh, th that we come up against on a daily basis and even in our sleep, in Jesus' holy mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one.